only the beginning of what they will do and nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. I want to just talk to you uh, for a few moments from a simple subject, find someone to build with. Find someone to build with. Father, we thank you for anointing this word. And we thank you for the edification of this word. And we thank you that your people shall be blessed. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Look at someone and say, find someone to build with. This text that arrests our attention, amen, it is familiar to most. And uh, it deals in the 11th chapter of Genesis, amen, uh, about, amen, a people that had one language and one vocabulary. On, they understood each other. This was, amen, post the flood, amen, and God had caused Noah and the people to repopulate the earth. Right. Amen. After God saw that man's imagination was continually evil and wicked in the sight of God, that he calls, amen, uh, the earth, amen, or the people in the earth to be wiped out, 
but he found one, amen, and graced him, and his name was Noah. And uh, uh, these people, uh, amen, on this regeneration of the earth, filling it up with people, amen, that God, amen, uh, saw a particular people uh, that settled in the land of Shinar, uh -huh. amen, and uh, began, amen, uh, to be more into themselves than into God. Uh, uh, one of the particular things about this text is that we pull out the positive things of it, Amen. And we we go there on and live there by. But there there are some uh, negative things in this text because they a man decided to build, but they decided to build without God. Right. Amen. The Bible says that they said that they would build themselves a tower, a tower into the heavens. Amen. And. Uh, uh, towers, amen, being built represents, amen, uh, the, the economy of the city. Uh, towers, high skyscrapers represent, amen, power. It represents economic power. It represents growth. And there's nothing wrong with power. There's nothing wrong with growth. But there's something wrong with it when you do it, amen, outside of God. Amen. So, amen. These people were rebelling against God. And it was open rebellion against God because they were independent of God. God does not want anyone to be independent from Him. Because to be independent from God is to say that I can live without God and I don't have to obey the laws of God. But God wants people who are, are dependent upon Him. Because when you depend on God, it puts you into a state of humility. Amen. Where you are humble of the, under the mighty hand of God. And you know that without God, you are nothing. And without God, you will surely fail. And so therefore, it puts you in a position where you become obedient unto God. Because you know that your blessings come from the Lord. So those who understand that their blessings come from God and they cannot live without God, submit themselves to the will of God, humble themselves under the mighty hand of God, and position themselves to be obedient to God if you even if you do not agree with God. Because you can disagree with God, that's one thing, amen, but still obey God. But disagree with God and be disobedient to God puts you in the place where God is not obligated right. to bless your life. Right. Can you say amen? Yeah. Uh, the Bible says amen uh, that they wanted to amen that they unified themselves. Uh, they became one. The people, amen, strengthened themselves, but they strengthened themselves in pride because they wanted to make a reputation for themselves. Uh, they said, uh, let us make our name great. You got to be careful, amen, that uh, you don't desire to make your name great out of pride. You don't do anything in competition with other people. Or oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Uh, you, you, you don't buy a house to get a house bigger than what your brother or sister has done. Or oh, y'all ain't going to help me. You're not trying to outgive anybody. You're not trying to, amen, outdo anybody. Amen. Even when you're preaching the word of God and when you get in the microphone, you've got to be careful, amen, that what you do is to give God glory and it is not done out of pride to puff yourself up. Y'all ain't going to help me because the Bible says that God resisted the pride. He resisted the prideful. And so, amen, the, the scripture says, amen, that they united themselves, amen, together in pride. 
They said, let us make our names great by building this city. And then, uh, he said, amen, they said, if we build together, amen, we'll make our name great. And then we will not be scattered throughout the earth. The other thing is that they were out of the will of God because, number one, God said he will make your name great. God does not have a problem with making anybody name great as long as he makes their name great. Right, right, See, when right. God makes your name great, then your name is not only great on the earth, but your name is great in heaven because God has made your name great. The scripture says, amen, that they said, uh, let's purify themselves so we will not be scattered abroad. God told Noah in, amen, uh, in Genesis 9 and 1, the Bible says he blessed them. He blessed them and told them to fill the earth, to be scattered all around the earth, fill the earth. And so these people were out of the will of God because they did not want to fill the earth. They did not want it to be dispersed or scattered. They wanted to stay in Shinar. They wanted to stay in this place when it was against the will of God. And whenever you get out of the will of God, amen, you find yourself, amen, not being successful in what you are trying to do. Whenever you are out of the will of God, amen, you're working and operating in the flesh and not with the breath of God or the wind of God or the favor of God. Hallelujah. And this day, in this season, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe that I'm talking to a people that in this season, you want everything you do to count. Amen. Y'all are going to help me. I got a few people. You want everything you do to count. Now, in this season, you want, amen, the will of God for your life. Amen. Your desire, amen, should be God. Whatever you want me to do, that's what I will do. Because I am no longer my own. I belong to you. I know that if I do your will and your will be done in my life, I know no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. The Bible says in Psalm, amen, number one, he said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law do he meditate day and night, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. I begin to understand that how in the world that whatever you do shall prosper. I see people battle with that and don't believe it and say uh, that that's not reality. Whatever you do, amen, whatever you do, anything you do is not going to prosper. But I come to tell you, if you do everything God's way, y'all ain't gonna help me, everything you do God's way will prosper. Yeah, 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 glory to God. I feel this thing right now. I'm gonna feel it for a minute. Amen. And so you've got to understand that if we are doing something that is not prospering, maybe we are not doing it God's way. It's got to be by God's will and by God's law and by God's principle because God said if everything you do shall prosper, then everything you do is supposed to prosper. Or you'll be what? Ordered by the Lord. And the amen. And therefore, in order to do that, you've got to do self-retrospect. You've got to examine yourself to make sure that you're in line with the will of God for your life. And God has a right to make you be in his will. He's got a right, rather I should say, not amen to cover you when you're not in his will. Why? Because you belong to God. You didn't have anything to do with your existence in the earth. It is God that made you. And the Bible says all souls are mine. You belong to God, but the soul that sitteth shall die. And some people think of just physical death, but amen, spiritual death, I think, is more crucial and more damaging, amen, than physical death, because you can be alive 
slave in the flesh walking around, but you can be dead spiritually, separated from the world, y'all, separated from God, where you're living, y'all ain't gonna help me, but you'd rather be dead because nothing you do is working for you. Y'all ain't gonna help me. The Bible says thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Our daily bread. When you please God, God will give you a little bit of heaven on the earth. That's why I see, amen, some people look at me like I'm crazy and don't know what I'm talking about for believing that one day I'll be the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. Y'all ain't gonna help me. The lender and not the borrower. I come to tell you, when you put your will in the will of God, yeah, glory to God, and God orders your step, amen, whatever you do will prosper. God is getting ready to get some people, y'all don't believe my report, but he's getting ready to put you in a position where you will be the lender and not the borrower. He's not talking about, amen, heaven, because you ain't got to loan nothing or borrow nothing, y'all ain't gonna help me in heaven. He's talking about right here on earth. I wish I had about 14 people in here who would believe my report and just shake your neighbor's hand and say, I'm putting my will in the will of God. Because I want God to bless me in everything that I touch. It shall be blessed and anointed. Every idea, everywhere the soles of my feet shall tread upon, it shall be mine. Who am I talking to in this building? Huh? And so the Bible says, amen, amen, that God came down. God came down to where, amen, that the children were. He came down. He saw what they were able to do. He saw them building. He saw, amen, the power going up. I mean, it got God's attention to the Bible says, and the Lord came down to see what they were doing. I come to tell you, hallelujah, my God in this building right here, amen, I'm telling you that God, amen, comes down, amen, to see what's going on when you are doing something worthwhile. I want to do something that gets God's attention when he leaves his throne in heaven and he comes down, y'all, it will help me to see what I'm doing. Who in here know what I'm talking about? Because everybody is doing something, but everybody ain't doing something to get God's attention. I gotta get God's attention. Who in here am I, am I talking to up in here? I want him to stand up. He had to stand up in order to come down. He came down to see what they were doing. And the Bible says when he saw what they were doing, he says, we've got to stop them. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. He says the people are one. They are strengthened. They are united. They are one. They are working together. But the problem is that they are working independent from God. They're working independent from me and out of my will. Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. He says it's marvelous. They are one, but they're one without me. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Hallelujah. Here, I come to tell somebody in here, you can be united all you want. Uh, y'all, you can become one all you want. Uh, oh, y'all ain't gonna help me. You can unite and say it's all about us, but if God is not in it, what you building is about to come down. Y'all don't like me here. What you building, a man will not bear any fruit. Uh, for the Bible says uh, that he confused their language. Uh, that's why you've got to be careful about building and building without God. Oh my God. I'm going to try to do this in 10 minutes. I want you to catch it. Huh? Amen. You've got to be careful. Amen. That God amen is in what you're building. If God is not in it, it can get to a certain point huh? and then God will come down and cause confusion. I know the Bible says uh, that God is not the author of confusion. Huh? He's not talking about this kind of confusion. Huh? He's not talking about when you're doing will and you're doing well and you 
in the will of God and there is confusion. No, that's the devil that causes confusion. Uh, amen. Y'all ain't going to help me here. But in this text, amen, he confused their language because they were already confused. Uh, they were out of the will of God being bamboozled by the devil to try to live independently from God. Uh, so he confused their language. Uh, and you've got to understand sometimes periodically you can be doing well. Uh, you can be doing great. Uh, but God is not in what you do it uh, because you put your work before God. You put your plans before God. You put your stuff and your own agenda before God. Where God is not in what you're doing. Uh, and then you have a measure of success. Uh, but when God sees that it's independent of God, uh, he causes confusion in the language. Uh, that's why you can have a good business partner. Uh, you can have a good marriage. Uh, you can have a good relationship. Uh, and it's successful. But when God is not in it and you're not dependent upon God in it, uh, then confusion comes in. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna help me. You can talk but you're not understanding one another. You can talk but you're not speaking the same thing. Uh, you can talk, amen, but you're not hearing the same thing. Uh, confusion erupts uh, and it causes what you've been building to cease. Uh, it causes what you've been trying to do. Y'all ain't with me. It causes what you've been trying to do to stop in the air. Uh, hallelujah. Why? Uh, because it's done independently from God. Uh, and when God sees it, uh, God will never cause it, uh, amen, to rise. Uh, he will stop the work. Uh, you can see, amen, our city or our country uh, in the state that it's in. Uh, amen. We've got, amen, tall high rises. Uh, amen. But, amen, there were twin towers of, amen, that were sitting very high. Uh, but because, amen, uh, our nation, uh, amen, rather, amen, put, amen, self first uh, than to put God first uh, on 9 11, amen, the twin towers came down. Uh, it came down, uh, amen, I know they said it came from the east and terrorists, uh, amen, but truth be told, amen, uh, amen, that some things happen uh, and occur because of the judgment of God. Uh, you don't believe my report now. Uh, we see the state that America is in right now. First there was, amen, they were world power. Amen, when they decided to honor God, amen, amen, world power that Great Britain had was transferred in the 1930s to America because America made up in their mind and said in God we trust. And world power left Great Britain and it came to America. As long as America, oh y'all, they gonna help me on it, God, they were and we were the world's force, the world's greatest power, y'all, they gonna help me, that ever hit the earth. But now you can see what's going on. Amen, America had great money, but now America is in debt. America is no longer what it used to be. We in debt now to China. Oh, y'all, they gonna help me? And China have some of y'all Y'all believe my report? Uh, some of the highest skyscrapers. Uh, oh, y'all may want to help me, but I believe, uh, amen, uh, that it was transferred because we forgot all about God. Uh, and now we in debt, and debt is a sign of judgment. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Uh, amen. Because, uh, amen, those that are in debt are slaves to the lender. Uh, and you are under control of those you are in debt to. Uh, so now China is in charge. I wish y'all, y'all, y'all got to see this. Amen. Uh, that's why, beloved, that when you don't honor God, uh, that when you refuse to honor God and put things your way, the Bible says that there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end of that way is destruction. I come to tell you, but if a man's ways please God, he'll make his enemies be at peace with him. Who am I talking to up in here today? Reach over and grab your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, I got to find some 
mighty to deal with. Can you say glory to God? Oh my God, why? Because I need somebody who's got the mind of God and not building in vain. Oh, you're only going to help me because only what you do for Christ will last. And only do what you do for him will count in the end. I wish I was talking to some people that at the point of their life now that they're tired of wasting time. Tired of wasting energy. Tired of wasting finances. Whatever I do, I want the Lord to be pleased with what I do. Because I don't want to get myself in a situation where I can't bail myself out. If anything goes wrong, I want it to go wrong because the devil is mad. And y'all ain't going to help me. I'd rather the devil be mad at me than God to judge me. Because if the devil is mad at me, it's all right. Because many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivers them. I ain't got no church in Out of them all. Reach over and grab your neighbor real quick and tell them, neighbor.